Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Marisa. And I'm Ariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is ready T for Teen for strong language and mature themes. If you would like your podcasts with, um, you know, mild to moderate language and, um, you know, family appropriate themes, then head on over to her's very own podcast, Unlocked. I don't know what they're doing. I have um, no idea what they're doing. They talked right to the new intern recently. I don't know if that was the most recent episode, but they oh. talked to the new intern, uh, Jay. And apparently she's cool. Cool. So, what are we talking about today, Sister Ariana? So, apparently we still sound, we sound too close to each other. So, I've been instructed that we're supposed to say each other's names more often. We don't more often. say each other's names. I know. So, <laughs> Sister Ariana, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> well, Sister Risa, today we're going to... <laughs> It's getting um, culty in here. I know. Um, well, Sister Risa, <laughs> today we're going to uh, be roasting some more games. Yeah, we're going to roast 11 more games because there's an awkward amount of games. And we roasted the first 10 games last time we roasted games. We roasted all the way up to The Secret of Shadow Ranch. So mm-hmm. we're just going to keep going and start at The Curse of Blackmore Manor and roast the next 11 games. All right, man. <laughs> So, starting with Curse of Blackboard Manor, just, I'm going to literally drug and torture this woman psychologically because I'm sad my parents got divorced. <laughs> like, uh, this, this goddamn game, man. <laughs> uh, I love how someone on Tumblr put it, uh. You know that game where a fully grown woman gets depressed and mistakes that for turning into a werewolf? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's this game. That literally, she just, it's like, I'm depressed. You know what this is? I'm just turning into a werewolf. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what else it could be. This is Nancy Drew in the case of the time she completely ignored her friend and instead looked for treasure. (laughs) Part one. <laughs> Part one. <laughs> Oof. Um, no wonder Jane is so fucked up when <laughs> the Pendulins literally have a cult dedicated to themselves. <laughs> there is a man-eating plant in that place. <laughs> Are we just gonna gloss over that fact? Completely safe. Completely safe to have your 12-year-old running around in a place with a man-eating plant. <laughs> well, it's fine yeah. for her not so great for the you know kids in the neighborhood who show up and (laughs) we already know jane's a sociopath so i mean you know (laughs) if i was linda at the end of that game i would move the fuck out yeah i (laughs) no fuck you hugh i'm out of (laughs) here i mean we already know it's like everyone's completely fine with the fact that jane did all of this to her (laughs) they're like oh she just missed her mom it's like like, no, she needs extensive therapy after this. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, Curse of Blackmore Manor. Next, Secret of the Old Clock. Oh, where do you even start? <laughs> uh, a game that is so boring and lacking so much that they had to give you an eternal fetch quest. <laughs> An eternal fetch quest to even pat, just to pat it out. (laughs) A game that, like, doesn't it start? Yeah, it starts with a weird announcer voice. It's 1930. (laughs) Yeah, it's 1930. Little girl. (laughs) Like. Yeah, literally. That's pretty much how it starts. It fades in as she's driving her father's car up the drive. And yeah. Slowly that voice goes away and we never hear it again. Yeah. You're either going to frame something or you're not going to do that shit. Okay. No, I, I, I like it. It's just once. Just once and done. <laughs> just once. <laughs> Nancy was being stalked by this man with the announcer voice. He got like, arrested. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know this isn't. This, I know we're not, you know fixing Secret of the Old Clock right now. I got that. Um, yeah, we already but, did that. 
Yeah, right. Uh, but <laughs> what would have been better is having the announcer voice do the Dear Ned part. Ex- so it wouldn't be... Or I guess I think it's Dear Hannah in that one. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Does not matter. It doesn't matter. But it would be better if the announcer voice came back and said, Dear viewers, <laughs> <laughs> this is how it all ended. Like, then I could forgive the beginning. Mm, no. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, could, I mean, I'm not saying 100%. I, I I I would forgive, but I wouldn't forget. <laughs> uh, also in this game, the only likable character is the cat. And even then, the cat has a face only a mother could love. <laughs> that, that ugly little kitty. That <laughs> What does this miserable. cat want? <laughs> miserable excuse for art, because... <laughs> Who thought a cat looked like that? <laughs> a cat that was someone who had uh, never seen a cat before modeled it, but someone described to them what a cat looked like. <laughs> Basically. That's, that's what happened there. They'd never seen a cat, but they had had a cat described to them. <laughs> it Same happened with uh, Jane. Uh, someone was like, you know, how should we create this this character? Have you thought of maybe making it Joan Cusack? <laughs> and them going, I think I remember what Joan Cusack looks like. And then basing it <laughs> off of that. <laughs> no reference images for them. They just were like, going off of memory. She just, she looks like that, that lady in all the 90s cartoons who like had her, you know, short hair and she's, and she, Mm. you know she's always smoking she's the weird aunt who's smoking a cigarette that's what she looks like you just did that character from the greater tuna (laughs) (laughs) plays that's what you just did (laughs) (laughs) jingle bells jingle bells all the way (laughs) Exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh, Secret of the Old Clock, where we can't even catch the bad guy. She just has to run into a bunch of pies. <laughs> Nancy doesn't like even I catch. Guess. Nancy doesn't even catch the bad guy. Pies catch the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes and high cholesterol. Not the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor <laughs> diet. Caught up with her. <laughs> Nancy Drew and, and the case of the old guy who just wanted to make everybody in his life miserable um. <laughs> I could leave everyone my will but you know what I could also do hide it <laughs> time will tell everyone in that game is so stupid he the gives time all clocks. will tell he gives them all clocks and then says, time will tell, and they still don't get it. <laughs> like, it's a town full of idiots, and, and Josiah Crowley came in and, and got to be the Wizard of Oz because he just had some knowledge. <laughs> He's not actually a brilliant man, but he had enough knowledge that these idiots thought he was brilliant. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, he knew how to use lasers. <laughs> It's true. That is that's actually a fact. <clears throat> In the nineteen twenties. Uh yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, so that was Secret of the Old Clock. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Jesus Christ. This is the most convoluted plan any villain has ever had. I need to find a mine. I know. I'll trick some smart people into finding it. How? I'll pretend to kidnap myself. Brilliant, Lori. Who says you're not smart? That's, it's. You know who I'll invite to do this? A police (laughs) officer, a romance novelist, (laughs) and, and a ghost hunter. And then maybe these detectives that my dad says I should, like that. (laughs) Like, yeah, I definitely feel like she told her dad what this whole trip was. And, (laughs) and he was like, Maybe 
these smart kids. No, literally, can help she you. said she says that her dad invited the Hardy Boys. Yeah, no, so it's, it's just yeah. like. So it's like he invited them because he was like, "No, I know what she's fucking doing," <laughs> and she's inviting idiots. Yeah, yeah. Because even without Nancy there, the Hardys probably would have figured it out. It would have taken a little longer because there wouldn't have been, you know, multiple points getting stuff done. But they would have done it. Really, the Hardy mm-hmm. boys did a lot of the work in this anyway. They really did. So it's just Nancy another does one of those leg work, really. <laughs> She does a lot of like work, yeah. Yeah. But whatever. I mean, <laughs> Bess and George do a lot of work in that game too. They do a lot of yeah. research for us, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah, we never know, it's never I... Bess and George in the <laughs> And the last those. train to Blue Moon Canyon. <laughs> yeah. It's never that. Gosh, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> uh also, this is uh this game where we meet Tino Bel Tino Balducci. Yeah. So Tino automatically Balducci. Automatically, it gives it, like, minus two stars to the rating of the game. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Nancy Drew and the train where a man kept his dead wife for an entire winter. <laughs> so morbid. That is the most morbid backstory to one of these games. <laughs> Nancy Drew... And there's a game where a kid gets killed because of drugs and shit. So, like... Nancy Drew and the creepy ass dolls. <laughs> I'm just coming up with alternate titles for these games right? now. <laughs> Nancy Drew in the case of the ear- the ghost hunter's eardrums blown by a, by a <laughs> piano key. I mean, his own fault for listening. Yeah. I mean, People gonna make noises, you know? Who listens real time at EVP? Uh, EVP? Not a single soul. I don't know what he's fucking doing. Exactly. Come on, dude. It's your own fault. <laughs> You're just bad at your job. You're just... <laughs> your bullshit you have, job. Have you ever seen a ghost hunter show? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Danger by Design, which... I'm so sorry. I, this game, which, first of all, if JJ is a size 12, then I'm Twiggy. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, man. And That's... I have to constantly keep eating so I can be a plus size model. Fuck you. And <laughs> fuck whoever came up with that fucking idea. Yeah, that's, I'm. I, mm, mm. This fucking game. <laughs> Honestly. Like. Jesus fucking Christ, that game. It's... Mmm. It is a game where it... It... Okay. Everything that it tries to bring up, you know, the, 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 you know, plus size model and the, and the, um, um, the whole World War II, II? you know, snafu. Um, Um, they, like, bring these things up as topics that could be, you know, something you can actually delve into with the this this young audience that you're trying to connect uh-huh. to. Um, you know, or you can just <laughs> cast it aside. <laughs> like uh, Yeah. They don't they bring these things up and then psh, Yeah, the war. Nah, you know the good. war. The one that happened between France and Germany. Nothing bad ha- else bad happened in that war, obviously. Holocaust? No, yeah, they, never they heard just... of it. That's, yeah. You know. That's that game. Nancy Drew and the alternate timeline of World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Where it was really just a, you know, little disagreement between neighbors. Yeah, yeah. totally. And it totally doesn't make Doisette a terrible person for dating a German soldier who yeah. then went back to Germany so he was cool all that so yeah not like he became an expat or anything so <laughs> you know whatever <sighs> there's that game <laughs> Nancy Drew and the woman who wore a mask all the time to cover up a tattoo like <laughs> lady there's, There's tattoo removal, <laughs> and you could just, you know, pack a ton of makeup on, right? Or just get into it. Just go into it. 
Make yeah. it your cool Lean thing. Lean into it. No reason to do the mask <laughs> thing, honestly. Yeah. Danger by design, everyone. <sighs> <laughs> so, Creature of Kapu Cave. Uh... I still have no clue what that game is about. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's about um, bugs. No, <laughs> Bug no, poop. it's it's about um, native legends. No, no, no. It's it's about paying off your debts. No, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Drew and <laughs> and the oddly realistic job of sorting frass. <laughs> Nancy Drew and learning the lesson of paying off your right. <laughs> paying off pawn shop owners. Uh, <laughs> Nancy Drew and the lesson of if you make friends with old guys, they'll just <laughs> let you do things. <laughs> that sounded really bad. Oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> it's about the Healy Healy. Yeah. Just, it's just potentially in. problematic, and <laughs> <laughs> but we don't. It doesn't. You know, you remind me of my anything. niece, so I'm just gonna let you come in and just play with all of this stuff. <laughs> it's completely. It's this is a restricted facility. It is top secret. But you know, you <laughs> remind me of my niece. So who am I to judge? <laughs> come on in here. You don't I'm need gonna that. You. Now you I'm gonna be clearance. okay with you. <laughs> Security clearance. Never heard of her. Um. <laughs> Uh, and as you put in the notes, fuck off Quigley. Yes, fuck off Quigley. I carried you long enough. You've done <laughs> jack shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, you you've get done... out that fucking tree and you sort that frass. Yeah, it's like you've just been yelling at me this whole time. <laughs> That's all you've done. Literally this entire time is you come down and yell at me and then go back up to the tree. <laughs> Again, this game should not be entitled Nancy Drew and anything, honestly. It should be no. Frank Hardy and... <laughs> <laughs> Getting shit done. Exactly. This is a Frank Hardy mystery. He While does also... most of everything. Other than sorting bug poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he takes a very active role in this game. <clears throat> he, he, you know, um, collects seashells. <laughs> Fishes. And... Makes them into jewelry, and then and then he fishes, um, and makes... eventually he's able to actually have an impact on the fucking case. He also I'm makes just realizing Frank Hardy's fucking storyline is bullshit. <laughs> you forgot the part where he makes where he makes um... snow cones. Yeah, fucking where he makes this, you know snow cone. Obviously. Fucking... And then he goes snorkeling. And then and he solves has the, the case. on the case. Yeah. Whereas Nancy just sorts bug poop and <laughs> sprays things indiscriminately. <laughs> <laughs> we have no <laughs> training on that fertilizer puzzle and we do it anyway. <laughs> With c- the confidence only a white person can have. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. I have zero training in it, but I think I got it. (laughs) (laughs) Creature of Kapu Cave. I still have no clue what it's about. (laughs) Which reminds me of our next one. White Wolf of High School Creek. I have no idea what that really, the end game of that game no clue why they do what they're doing, but I get a doggy <laughs> friend, so <laughs> don't really care. It's like, but it's like at this weird point in time, so they named her Isis, and so it's like, hmm. <laughs> it's like, let's the mod the well. game and go back and like rename her Iris or something. <laughs> <laughs> they go back and do it really terribly. <clears throat> yeah, he named that wolf. Iris! <laughs> Microsoft Sam. Iris. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, also, fuck off, Chantal. I will do this job how I fucking want to. I know I've made you become my maid and cook as well as solving my mystery, but can you also defer to this awful detective so I have a chance of getting some dick? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. That's that entire part of the story. Yeah. She wants... She wants some Tino, Tino Bell Dickie. <laughs> uh, she took her glasses and put them on top of her head, just so you guys know. <sighs> oh my god, Giles, do you clean your glasses so you don't have to see what we're doing? Tell no one. <laughs> I just read your note. Trapper Dan died for our sins. <laughs> Trapper Dan. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Ice School Creek is Nancy Drew, and the time she had to stop in the middle of solving a crime to go make quesadillas. <laughs> Oh, I've almost got this puzzle. Oh, you know what? It is quarter to 12. I gotta get in there. <laughs> I have to go make a lunch. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> Stay right there, Avalanche. I'll be right back. Right. If I don't go back right now, my boss is going to fire me. You are stuck in an <laughs> avalanche. I know, but capitalism, am I right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, why will that's too to... real i know i've <laughs> got yeah. way too real i'm sorry <laughs> but it's true <laughs> i mean literally if you do get caught out in the avalanche when you're supposed to be in making lunch you get fired yeah <laughs> it's just like i was trapped in snow doesn't <laughs> matter you missed lunch that's that's way that's way too real i don't like it <laughs> Oh, moving on. Legend of the Crystal Skull. Legend of the Crystal Skull. Someone uh, needs to stop Bruno Bole at one exotic pet. <laughs> no one needs an alligator. No one. Stop I feeding the alligators, my dude. Just leave it alone, man. Um, What kind of puzzles <laughs> do you think we should do in this one? What about <laughs> eyeballs? Kids like eyeballs, right? <laughs> Yeah, the kids are the kids are big on eyeballs these days, right? <laughs> what about yeah. what about morbid puns? <laughs> morbid puns on a children's game? Yeah, yeah, that works. They they like they they like graveyard. <laughs> yes, See, I mean spot on. They did they got us right. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> or as <laughs> again, I was having fun. <laughs> Half the Clue crew wants to kneel down for Henry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, get it? Because hey. kneel down is one of the names in the scavenger hunt. Hey, hey. sorry, I'm. It's 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 been a day. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, but yeah, uh, Nancy <sighs> Drew and the the time Bess got the first time Bess got kidnapped. <laughs> no, Nancy Drew and the t- thoroughly glossed over abusive relationship. Oh yeah, uh, Bess Marvin and the torment of a curio shop owner. <laughs> That's the horror <laughs> Poor story Lamont. side plot. <laughs> Poor Lamont. <laughs> he is the victim just, in all of this. <laughs> she just torments him. He. <sighs> That poor man. <laughs> she makes him sneeze his brains out and then yeah. <laughs> shit his brains out. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the creepy old man. <laughs> <laughs> that could be any of these games. Very true. There are a lot of creepy old men in these games. <clears throat> yeah. So that was Legend of the Crystal Skull. Yes. So, Phantom of Venice. Wear Nancy Dawn's a cat suit to make some extra euros. No, that's really what happens in the game. It's not a bad fanfic. 
it's that's canon. Where she dances to sound effects. Not even music. (laughs) (laughs) In a cat suit. (laughs) So, you know. That's, like, that sounds like a really, like, doesn't that sound, if you had never played this game. (laughs) And you went on on AO3, and you were, like, scrolling down, and it was like, Nancy is stuck in Italy, and she's out of Euro. She has to, you know, dance in a, in a club to make some money. Like, you'd be like, oh, well, I'll but click on this. But does she have the right stuff? Exactly. It's like, this is definitely a fanfic, right? Yeah. No, this happens in a game. This in a happens. In a black leather cat suit. Which she then she... needs for a heist. <laughs> and she walks to work in it. <laughs> yep. Because you can't change at work. <laughs> for some fucking reason. <laughs> and now we count the scopas. <laughs> no, fuck you. Fuck this game. You're just gonna give me what I want. <laughs> uh... And that's why Ariana was not very good at it. <laughs> Being in that gang. <gasps> oh. <laughs> now you're just making shit up. <laughs> I have the highest card. <laughs> I had the most tricks. What? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the time she actually worked with the police. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the time, even though she was working with the police, she never told them where she was going. (laughs) Nancy Drew and the time, she had a stalker. Yeah, I was gonna say, Nancy Drew in the case of the stalker. Because really, Helena's not, uh, not stalking her. That's true. It's very true. It's a very invasive relationship. Also, another fanfic title, Nancy Drew in the case of the rotten sausages. (laughs) (laughs) moving swiftly onward ransom of the seven ships (laughs) hey i was drew in the second time best got kidnapped (laughs) exactly (laughs) hey i wonder if the bad guy is the only other person on this island (laughs) nah can't be him i should totally not just you know tackle him and tie him up or something (laughs) As soon as I see him. He's not because... a red herring or anything like that. <laughs> no, I, mean, I shouldn't. He I mean, is a red herring. Shit. Obviously. I mean, no, I shouldn't just like tie him up and question him and check everything around him to see if my friend is here. No, not at all. Definitely not. Mm-mm. No, no, that wouldn't be sensible at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> I know. That game there would be solved in 20 and there's minutes. one of him. I know. 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes that game would be solved. <laughs> like, I, I've often pictured it, you know, it, you, me, and Sarah, and, and like, one of us gets kidnapped, the other two are going to go to that one other person and just hold beat him down. Beat the shit out of him. Beat the shit out of him until he says where the fuck he put you. <laughs> Instead of being like, okay, I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> guess you're not the bad guy. <sighs> And I'm certainly not going to question it after I find out you have a, a second identity. Yeah. One that's not so racist. <laughs> yes. Who thought putting Dwayne Powers in brown face was a good idea? Because, <laughs> I mean, if they hadn't already laid off all of their staff, I'd say you should probably fire them. <laughs> <laughs> Bit, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, also, Nancy Drew, in the time she lost to monkeys. (laughs) (laughs) Nancy Drew, in the time she literally could not best monkeys at logic games. She literally couldn't best monkeys. Nancy Drew, in the time she drowned trying to do Sudoku. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... Nancy Drew in the time she was bested by an octopus. <laughs> Nancy 
Lindsay Drew in the time she was bested by the winds. Yeah, I, was gonna say. Oh, I hate sailing in that game. I hate it so much. It's worse than driving. <laughs> it is. They don't do traveling well. In fact, no. it's, it's even worse than um um the 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 snow thing. Snowmobile. Yeah, you know. I liked your little like my little Snoop dance. dog dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we could spend all night on Ransom of the Seven Ships. But we have one game left, and it is Warnings at Waverly Academy. <laughs> I love you, Corinne, but there must have been an easier way to do this than blackmail and threats. <laughs> like, I'm going to find the Lost Poe stories. None of these girls know it, about it or where it is, so there's no reason for them to stop me. But just in case, I'm going to almost kill several of them. <laughs> like, she legit almost kills one of- Megan? Is that the one she the, with the allergy? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then Danielle, she just sends into, like, like she causes- She locked her in a closet. When she's got claustrophobia. It's like- <laughs> I- uh, That was some fucking damage done, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what would have been easier? Sneaking around. Yeah. Doing it at night. Karen, maybe, maybe if you if you weren't such a, a an anal bitch, <laughs> um, you wouldn't have trouble with the other girls, okay? Yeah, and you wouldn't have to, you no, know, stoop to literally almost killing them, you know. But whatever. Nancy Drew in the time she couldn't pretend to be a teenage girl even while being a teenage girl. <laughs> Nancy Drew in the time that a bunch of teenagers bullied her. (laughs) Nancy Drew in the time she did a bunch of kids' homework. (laughs) Uh, Also, all of the characters in that in that game look ridiculous. If they don't look like a crazy anime character, they look like they're from the girl from Monster House, or. They're Izzy. Ugh. <laughs> and we already have gone over what's wrong with Izzy's design. The only normal looking character is Corinne in the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody else got weird eyes. And they shit. all have like the weird like anime eyes. <laughs> Especially Mel. Yes. Mel. Mm. It goes Mel and then Le- Leela. Yeah. Like... They're like, mm. <laughs> they're, they're they're like car- those cartoons where like the outline of the eyes goes beyond the the um, face, the face. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Nancy Drew and and the case of the two girls trying to share one high school transcript. <laughs> How did that even work out, girls? How was that going to work? And. And they're supposed to be smart. Yeah. Well, see, they're each smart in their own way. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why they had to pretend to be one person, because on their own, they they didn't have enough. <laughs> yeah. So. That was the next 11 games. Uh, if you would like to roast them as well, please leave a comment. On any of our social media on this, on our Twitter, our Tumblr, our YouTube, our Twitch, or on our fancy website, chromeistersisters.knifefightclub.com. Also, you can review us on, 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 I, I don't remember anymore. (laughs) You can also find us on iTunes, Spotify. I got there. Spotify and Google Podcasts. You can also... (laughs) Where you can help us out by rating and reviewing us. I remembered that there was more than just iTunes and and, and, and that overloaded my brain and I'm I'm tired. (laughs) That's okay. Also, you can subscribe to our Twitch so you can get access to our cute little wine glass emote during our streams. So... 
As a reminder, I'm Risa. And I'm Mariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters. And we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy. <laughs>